Hello everyone, it's Kingsoft back again with another video log. As I said in the, I think the last short I uploaded, um, I had my hearing test done, and I thought I'd give you some of the results which I've said, some potential outcomes of what's going on and what they've said is pretty much near a hundred percent cause what I've got. So yesterday morning I got picked up from MT because currently I can't do any long distance driving because of my shoulder. So literally I have to contact MT. If I drive anywhere over like near enough an hour, they go, no, you can't drive yourself to any appointments. You have to get an MT to drive you. So, so on, so forth. It's a bit, it's a bit crap. I think I'll be able to do it, but I, I, this is the way it is. It's the way I've got to do it. It's completely fine. So someone picked me up from my house uh, about half eight in the morning. A uh, nice bloke picked me up in the car. Drove me down to Peterborough City, Peterborough, Peterborough City Hospital. I believe it's called or Peterborough County Hospital. I can't remember which one it was. But it, it was really nice, quite modern inside. Um, I was actually seen really, really quick, which considering, like, it's NHS, normally I'm there and I'll be waiting for, like, an hour to be seen, even after the appointment time. I'm not... But this time, I literally walked up. First first waiting room was there for about two, three minutes. Second waiting room. And then, literally, like, I think, like, five minutes later, I was called in. The woman had to actually come up and... Like, tap me on the back because I didn't hear hear her because obviously my hearing's knackered. So she not, I was like, "Oh, you want to come in?" I was like, "Okay, let's have a look." So we went through like uh, all my like, my my history. Have I had any problems with my hearing before? Has anyone else in the family had problems with their hearing at a young age? I'm like, "No, no, no." Okay, what do you need for a job? I was like, "Oh, well, I was in the army for this long. I've now been in the Royal Air Force for this long." Uh, okay, what do you do? What sort of things have you worked with? If you work with rifles, if you work with tanks, jet, I was there like, okay, well, when I was in the army, you have to do your mandatory training, rifles, different exercises, the way using rifles. Is, that, is it loud? Like, yeah, you, I mean, you have hearing defence, but it's not the best. And they were like, okay, okay, let's write, so they wrote that down. It's completely fine. And then I went, okay, what about um, Tom and Yari? I was like, well, I worked on a camp called Lossy Mouth, and they have the typhoons, which are the fighter jets. So, okay, are they loud? I went, yeah, they're really loud. Is that louder than the rifles? Is that, yeah. Typhoons are louder than rifles going off, and they go over, like, a prolonged period of time. So it's all like, if I go outside for, like, a smoke, which is when I used to smoke, I don't smoke anymore, but when I used to go out for a smoke, uh, the jet would, like, fly, fly overhead, and you wouldn't be able to speak until that jet was far gone because you couldn't hear the person next to you. Like, we would have be having, like, chats outside, like, three, three or four of us having a chat. And it'd be mad, like, you'd hear the jet go up and be like, okay, and everyone just went silent. There's no point in talking. You're like, and it's gone. Lovely. And you carry on. But when that could have affected your hearing quite bad because it's prolonged, loud noise exposure. Um, Obviously, because I didn't work technically with the jets, but I worked in a nitty close proximity from where my building was to the runway and where they came across or where the, the flight path where they go over you they've said that they they think that, that I did with the different rifle exposure and also the jets that my hearing issues have definitely been caused from being in the military because no one else in the family has had hearing issues this early in life at all. My dad has it now and I was a bit older but uh, that's nothing to do with being in the military. That's the thing, just working different fracture jobs, trucking jobs, and just generally getting older, I guess. But uh, it worries me the fact, like, I'm already having these issues with my hearing. I'm not even 30. Because she said, your hearing won't get better. Your hearing, you'll, your hearing will never get better on its own. So pretty much she now thinks that, well, I've got to come back again in the next couple of months. Well, she said, if it's like this, and I, I can see it, literally, they showed me the results, and it was like, okay, okay, and it was like, bam, like a massive d drop on what I could hear. And they went, yeah, that's your inner ear, which is caused by noise exposure. People in the military normally get this, but never as never as bad unless they've been, less their ears are suffering more. Because she's written down about whole ear exposure caused by military, da 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 da, all my military history and whatnot. I was like, fine. So she wants me to come back in the next couple of months which I don't mind it was an old hospital she was really 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 quick saw her got, saw her she then put me across to this uh, 
bloke he did the test in, he put he did like a test where it's like almost like wires you put in your ear and then a plug on top so you get the inner ear then it was your headphones and test with sounds what you can hear then you have one it's on the like the back of your head and it you meant i could hear a couple of beeps but the bloke was like yeah you can't you i was like is it bad he went well it's not good I was like, okay. <laughs> I went, I'm expecting bad, so I, I'm not too fussed. Just let me know how bad it is. He's like, oh, oh, I can't tell you. I'm not the consultant. The woman saw me and she went, I can see already what it is. I know what this is. But unfortunately, we don't go off military tests. You have to go off the NHS tests. Because they looked similar to what I had in Lossy. The results, well, obviously, I, I don't know the exact numbers for what they know. Which she told me she was like, we don't trust the military tests, so we can do it again. We'll call you up in, I think, a month or so. Get me back if the results are worse or the same. <sighs> she said she'll have to write a recommendation letter as to what I can actually do or if I'll even be able to serve, pretty much. Which is a bit weird. I was, I was expect, I'm expecting um, discharge because of my shoulder, because it's, it's been wrong for a long time now and I was waiting for surgery on that but the chances of that making it fully better to be able to go back to normal work and do a normal job within the military it's it's quite slim so I've been told and now with the hearing on top of that it's even slimmer so I don't know really know what to do now with regards to it it's it's all up in the air but she said if you come back potentially it could be hearing aids Potentially, it could be surgery to see if they can fix it internally. I don't know. Hopefully, I'll get their results soon. I'm going to get the results for my ears soon. Uh, well, the next booking for my ears, sorry, to get tested again. Hopefully, I get my surgery soon in my shoulder. So at least that's something on the go rather than just speaking about an issue. It can be fixed, if you know what I mean. It's. Yeah. It's going, but what's going to said I'd keep you all updated with everything, and this is me just adding a bit of extra nonsense to your life. No, but anyway, if you didn't, if you are new, like, comment, subscribe. It's been King Sloth. See you soon.